Hello YouTube, Silent S here with the Akai X1800 SD. SD standing for Super Deluxe because it has integral speakers behind these grills here. The unit is a reel-to-reel -reel player, I think 7-inch reels maximum, uh, with integral 8-track on the side here. So we're just going to go over some basic functionality of the unit and we're going to start with playback. So we'll turn the unit on, set our tape speed to high, and make sure that our mode selector is on reel, because we're going to play the reels here. And then we'll just uh, turn the playback lever to play. Alright, that was the uh, 1980s German New Wave artist, or Neuwelle. Uh, Nana with Nord Trout. So that was reel to reel playback. This unit can also play 8 tracks. So, in order to play 8 track, we're going to set the tape speed back down to low. And then we're going to set the cart, the mode selector to cart. And then just pop it in the side here. And we'll just uh, change our track with the track selector button here. Notice the light changing from 1 to 2 to go to the second program. 8-track uh, has 8 mono tracks, uh, so 4 stereo tracks. That's why it's called 8-track, because it has 8 mono tracks on it. Track 3 there for you. And this unit did have an optional remote, um, although it was wired, not like a remote you would think of today. So you could sit on your bed and select uh, which track you wanted remotely. And program four there for you. So stop playback by just taking the cartridge out. Now we'll just talk about the front of the unit here, just some of the controls. Up here, as you saw before, the tape speed selector, low and high. Low necessary for cartridge playback. High for the uh, best recording fidelity. Um, down here you have the uh, add-on for the pinch roller wheel, the capstan actually. Uh, that'll allow you to get uh, different speeds rather than just these two speeds you have here. Uh, the tape cleaner to clean your tape as it plays. Um, the playback levers, these three here. Uh, play and record and stop, rewind, fast forward, and then the mechanical intermittent pause switch there. Um, this automatic switch deals with this lever here, as you can see going down. Um, if it's on, when it goes down, it'll turn off the unit, as you saw, just in case the tape breaks, or when you're rewinding, when it hits the end of the tape, it'll turn the unit off for you. Uh, when you bring it back up, the unit comes back on. Over here, you have the tape counter. Uh, this switch will reset it to zero, so you can see how far you've gone in your tape. You can go back to the same position, like the starting bird of your recording or something like that. Here you have left and right volume controls, up and down. And then the tape equalization switch uh, to set your sound level equalization based on the speed of your recording generally. And these outer knobs here are the tone controls, more bass to the left and more treble to the right. Down here, uh, left and right microphone inputs in case you want to record from a microphone. And then here you have the mode selector. This um, as you saw before, cart and reel are here, and then transfer, the orange button, is for transferring from your reel to 8-track tape. And this was a pretty popular feature when this unit came out, because you could uh, transfer from your reel to your 8-track, and then you could have your 8-track in your car with you, because you can't really have one of these babies in your car. I guess you could if you really wanted to. Over here you have the uh, program lights showing you which track you're on on your 8-track, and your track selector button. On the side of the unit here, you have an eighth inch headphone jack and a switch to select whether or not you want the speakers on or not. Uh, the headphone will be on all the time and the button will just turn on the speakers. Um, then over here you have the slot for the 8-track and there's also a switch over here uh, to set if you want continuous play or if you want it to stop when it hits the end of track 4. So continuous would just keep repeating the cartridge over and over again ad nauseum. Um, now we'll just do a simple recording here. And what this cord here is, it's an uh, eighth inch or mini jack to RCA adapter. 
On the back of the unit, you have four female RCA ports, two for left and right in and two for left and right out. So I've hooked this into the left and right in ports so we can get our signal from our iPod into the unit. So in order to record, we'll set our tape speed back to high, set our mode selector to real, then we'll switch our stop lever to on. I'll tell you why that's important in a second here. And then using the record safety button, we'll switch from stop to play to record. Then we're about ready here. Then we will start our audio source and release the stop lever. Then we'll start recording. As you can see here, the uh, VU or volume unit meter, the little needles are moving a little bit. Maybe they can move a little more. Um, in order to record to analog tape, you need to, you need to drive voltage onto the tape. So your recording volume is essentially how much voltage you're putting out onto the tape. Uh, if you have too little voltage, the meters aren't moving at all, you're not really going to get a good recording. If you have too much voltage and your needles are going from the white zone into this red upper zone here, you'll be overdriving the tape. It might sound a little distorted or fuzzy. Maybe you're going for that. I don't know. Uh, all right, it's probably enough here. Although, let's talk about the stop lever. So the reason I had the stop lever on um, was because there's it's a mechanical lever, it's not electric, so uh, when I remove that lever you won't get a pop or a click, or when I uh, put it on, it just mechanically stops the tape, so there won't be any sound of the button on the tape or the recording. So we'll pause our audio source here, and we'll stop the tape and rewind with our tape counter back to zero, a little further. There we go. And we will play back our recording. YouTube, that was the Akai X1800 SD Super Deluxe Reel to Reel with 8 track player. If you have any questions or ideas uh, for things for me to do with this unit, um, questions about the operation, or uh, just comments, you know, just leave them below and uh, I'll respond either in comment form or maybe in a future video. Uh, thank you for your time, have a great night, and uh, enjoy analog recording, it's fun.